this story time is about my first time taking a private um session with a client and how the client tried me like tried to make an advance okay i got there 15 minutes early because you know i'm super excited and they told us to be professional and arrive 15 minutes early so that we're able to make sure the client has all of their hands on time and you have your time for setup and you have your time for takedown. You can go over stretches and all the things that massage therapists go over when you do a session, right? So <laughs> I call the client 15 minutes before. Now, mind you, earlier this day, I got a text message alert from the company that I work for and he asked them if I wouldn't mind rescheduling. Not, I mean, it's the same day, but he wanted to push back the session by like an hour or something. And I was like, okay, sure. Because it was still early. It was the weekend. It's my first time doing this. I'm trying to get a feel for what's really going on and blah, 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 blah. So because it was my first time, I learned a lot this day. All right, just listen, just listen to this. I get there and as soon as I get into the room, the guy first offers me water, right? He offers me water in a glass. I knew better. And I was like, no thanks. And he was like, would you like a, a, a bottle of water? And I look at the bottle of water that he's trying to offer me it's been opened. And I said, you know, that's really sweet of you, but no thanks. I'm not, I'm not thinking that I can just leave the session, right? I'm thinking, well, if he's scheduled, I have to. I later found out that we have the, the, you know, I'm an independent contractor. I have the ability to cancel the session if I feel just the slightest bit uncomfortable. But I had started feeling uncomfortable from him just offering me the glass of water. And I'm like, but why why do you think you a stranger is going to be able to offer me a glass of water that has already been sitting here and there's two of them and i'm just going to be okay with it and like you're a guy i don't know you so it's like i ain't even done no work yet and you already offer me something to drink let me get thirsty first let me work up some thirst okay so then he says to me Oh, okay, so I'm just gonna hop in the shower real quick. I'm 15 minutes early for an appointment. You called. You technically scheduled this appointment twice. But I do remember them mentioning it. I do remember them mentioning it. Freaking nasty on earth. Just know he looked like. That's what he looked like. He wasn't this person, but this, this who he looked like. He says that and I say, okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and step out and let you do that. And when you're all done, if you can just go ahead and give me a call, um, I'll know when it's time to come back. And he was just like, you don't have to freaking nag. It's all these places you can fly. Why you got to keep flying in my face? Why do they want to fly in your face? There's so many cracks, crevices, free space. Get away from me. I'm aggravated. So then... He's he he's like, no, you don't have to leave. Um, you can stay and you can just sit right here. And because his room had like like a living or like a sitting area, like a living room and a room it was a nice room. And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. I'm just gonna wait here in the lobby. Luckily for me, while I was waiting in the lobby, people saw my uniform and they started asking me if they could book a massage with me. And I gave them my information. I actually got a couple clients after that because of this interaction, which was interesting. But hey, whatever. So then he calls, I come back. Why would I come back in this room? This man got on his birthday suit. And he's just standing at the door with his arms on, you know, like, like, you know, when a doorway is like this, he's standing like this. He's like, so how do you want me to lay? Now I turn around, <gasps> dummy. I turned around like a dummy. I turned around because I'm like, um, I'm not trying to see nobody in a birthday suit. I was like, wow. So, um, first, I want to make sure that you're properly draped. He didn't have, you know, he just had on a birthday suit. And um, I asked him if he had anything that I could use, you know, for his own comfort for the table. And he said, oh, wait, before we get started. 
before we get started, he gave me a hundred dollar bill. I took the money. I took the money and I thought to myself, you about to be mad that you gave me this money. You about to be so freaking mad. That's your business. Thank you for this nice tip. Because now I technically just got paid $170 for a 60-minute session. Grazie. <laughs> Thanks. I did a session. And this not even this like, okay, all of that in the weirdness. But this just, this, this, let me put this down. That was just a very weird interaction at first. But then I'm just thinking about all the other times I got tried by different male clients. And it's like, why do I keep doing this? You know, we start this session and I used a towel. Now he tried to get a face towel. And I was like, do you have a body towel? I want tacos. Definitely. Definitely want tacos. That's got to happen. But I need to do my hour on the spin bike first because my knee or the little stair thingy. I'm going to do an hour on that one machine. Oh my gosh, gosh. Uh, he's not trying to make me touch anything, but... He is asking me to stretch him. And I'm like, okay, we didn't sign up for a sports massage. You asked for a Swedish sleep massage. But okay, we gonna do some sports. It's your session. It's what you asked for. I will stretch you. Now, mind y'all, I, I asked him for the full length towel. This man is doing everything in his power to flash me his junk. And I keep pulling up the towel so that he's not exposing himself because I don't want to see that. I have no desire to see that. And even if you were an attractive client, I'm here to work. So we're going to keep it professional. Do not try me. I am not a masseuse. A masseuse does that. A masseuse trades favors for cash. I am not a masseuse. I'm a licensed massage therapist completely different just so y'all know when you call somebody a masseuse you're calling them a prostitute do not call your massage therapist a masseuse that's for the places that you go with dark tinted windows that's open 24 hours a day i've never been employed in a place like that because i know what's going on there i've i've never i've never i, I, I i've never done that at all only person who i've performed those types of things for was my man okay my man person I'm with, the person I'm actually dating. But if, if it ain't that, then I'm not doing it, okay? There was a massage, even with him, even when I gave him a massage, if I pull this table out, don't try me. I'm strictly professional, don't play with me. That's how I feel. But if you just land on the bed or something like that, whatever, we play around. But if you, if I pull this table out, don't try me. <laughs> That's how I feel. So he's trying to expose himself and then I asked him to turn over. Y'all. I'm massaging this man and I do this stretch. It's this stretch that we do where you have the person's back leg or on their stomach, you have the person's back leg and you have, you know, their ankle like this and you'll pull their leg forward. And while you're doing that, you're using one other arm to like, you know, slowly stretch out the hamstrings. It's a pin and stretch. I do this, this pin and stretch, right? And, you know, he asked me for more pressure. When somebody asks you for more pressure, drop them bowls you drop them bowls on them. so mind you i got an ankle like this right <laughs> i got an ankle like this and it's like this no it's, it's like this so i'm like this and i'm you know uh, i'm going like this and i'm leaning and i'm like and then i hear <laughs> this is what he said he said who that's a good stretch hey, hold up hey, 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 uh, uh, uh. good stretch you just farted in my face. Ain't no good stretch. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You just farted in my face. He farted in my face. <laughs> I was disgusted with him. I was like, you know something? I know you. you it, it, I, this is just say what you want to. I was more insulted by that. I'm like. I'm not even more insulted. It's like, I know you're not going to try me as soon as I walk up in here. Try my time because now you don't suck the, the time that it takes you to take a shower for an appointment. You scheduled once. No, you scheduled the first time, then rescheduled the second time. Then you got me coming up in here and you got to hop in the shower, but you're trying to be slick because you're trying to find a reason to get completely bucking naked, even though you can get on the table bucking naked, but I ain't got to see your business. You're trying to find a reason to be bucking naked in here 
in the shower while I'm waiting, do you want me to sip some possibly could be tainted water? Then you come out here with a face towel covering up all your body, shaped like a yam, talking about some. Will this do? You know that's not going to do. That's not enough. You need a bigger towel. You're big. You need a bigger towel. Then you, you got your stuff hanging out nasty. And you keep doing it. Keep, he kept doing this with his leg. He just kept doing this. And I was like, oh, we're not stretching that. Like, oh, okay. I'm just, you know, who run a lot. Just who good stretch, good stretch. Put your foot down. Put your leg down. <laughs> That's not where we're stretching. Stop. But you can't talk to people like that when you're a therapist. Like, oh, okay, so we're going to work on something else, okay? Oh, okay, whew, I just want to get that stretch in. Good for you, but that's not what we're doing right now, so please. Let's go ahead and turn over. Okay. So I do this, and I'm like this. My eyes was closed and my mouth was open. He farted down my throat. <laughs> Y'all, I reported him. <laughs> I did. I did. It wasn't a fart that did it. The, the, the fart was the final straw. He was going to get reported anyway, but I reported him with the utmost aggression. I was so upset with I didn't tell them that he farted in my face because when you're a therapist, you just accept that sometimes people are going to pass gas. Okay, they're going to pass gas. It happens. But him doing all that, I asked him, I said, so I really didn't feel comfortable at all. And I would like to block him as a client because you can do that. This is what made me upset with the company. They were like, you know, um, he's actually had complaints before. Why is he still here? Fire him as a client. We don't want him back. Thanks. Bye. I said, so in those situations, what can I do? And they were like, if at all you feel uncomfortable or something just feels off to you, you're, you're free to leave. And there will be no penalty. We won't, uh, you know, because there's, if you cancel too many appointments, then it's like, they're like, okay, you're not serious about making this money. So we're not going to offer you um, these. Or if you put in your bid for it, then you're just going to go to the bottom of the totem pole. And if nobody else wants it and you're the absolute last person left, then we'll ask you. Um, but other than that, it's going to be everybody else. You're deprioritized pretty much is what happens. Um, but yeah, that was the time that I had my first at home massage with a client and he tried me and farted in my face. At least I made $170 in 60 minutes. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also make sure that you hit that first notification bell so you'll be notified every time I make a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.